A rough day in the office, Elliot. How do you think it went? Oh, it was a bit rough today. Um, it wasn't the best performance we put out on the park there, but you know we'll, we'll move on from that and go to training on Tuesday and fix our problems. So. Yeah, yeah. Was it your game plan to kick a lot? Um, it wasn't actually. It was actually keeping in hand, but you know the game game plans itself out and it just happens sort of thing. But you know we'll work on that and improve for next week. Yeah. How's your season been going up until this match? Um, well, last year we struggled a bit in the first year in the tournament, but I found this year we've uh, improved quite a lot. Quite proud of how the boys have been going this year so far, and um, we've had two wins of the season so far. So we look to um, improve against John McGlashan's for next week at home. So, what are your major work on for your next game against John McGlashan? Um, I felt that our line defence struggles uh, was quite tr uh, bad today. Um, you know, just the d defence in general, uh, chat around the fringes, and just listen to the referee. You know, we got to adapt to how the referee referees the game, not how we want it to be refereed. So, yeah. And um, who were your standout players this week? Um, I thought Bailey Nole, uh, number seven, played real well today. Lachlan Woods proved himself today, got the start. Um, yeah, and the, as usual, the midfield stood out for me. Yeah, well, good luck for your next game against John McGlashan. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining us, Mr Crosby. It was a tough battle out there. How did you think it went? Uh, it was pretty disappointing today. We um, didn't really front up physically or mentally, and on the potato patch, we just we didn't play. Yeah. And what, what do you think you could have done better in this game? Our well, attitude was poor and we identified that at Thursday training and then our, just our defence out there was, wasn't good. One-on-one um, -on -one we missed so many tackles and just let Kings run through us all day. Yeah, and what do you think you should be working on in training for your game coming up against John McGlashan? I mean, we've got all those structures in, in place. We, we just need to get our heads right. Um, I know it's, it's a big bus trip coming down here, and but... You know, we, we're better than that. We've done it plenty of times, and when we go up and when we play Johnny's next week, we've got to have our attitude right, one on one D, and when we take the ball into contact, we we take it in with a purpose. What did you think about the kicking in this game? Was it your game plan? It wasn't part of the game plan, but I guess when you're on the back foot and uh, you're not making yards around the fringes, you have to resort to a bit of kicking. Quite a lot of it was aimless, so we definitely look to keep the ball in hand a bit more. That's our that's how we. Well, so when we play well, we keep the ball in hand and attack, so that's the plan next week is to, to have a bit of a crack and we'll see how we go. Sounds good. Good luck for next game. Thanks, Nico. Hopefully you'll be back soon. Yeah. Well played. Great game of rugby. I mean, um, my background is teaching. So I spent 10 years as a teacher uh, and uh, teaching kids exactly like you, same age. Uh, and uh, we need to get some English sides over here because it would be a great game uh, if you played against them. So we've got a lot of talent here and uh, you, know, you should be proud of what you did. And well done to, to Kings, also a great win. I'd like to present this to the uh, captain. Where is he? Okay. Well played, mate. And then, uh, hey, hey, it's uh, happening our side on Tuesday night. We play uh, the Crusaders on Tuesday night. Uh, and he's got a shirt on the capital of the amount. Martin, wherever he's, uh, he's number eight. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day and obviously enjoy the game tonight and uh, I know you can count on all your support. <laughs> <laughs>